Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video in our series of BIOS and we're talking of the BIOS, the Phoenix BIOS in this Toshiba computer and we'll have BIOSes from other computers also so that you can relate to your own computer um, boot or boot order is an interesting section that you might want to go uh, tamper with sometimes. There's a way that your computer actually boots in a specific order and um, for that to happen it needs to be in the good order because having the wrong boot devices in order might prevent your computer from booting up and also um, having the wrong devices in order can also prevent you from booting up from a CD for example or a DVD. Um, one example people have their boot up disks and for their computers you know they have their uh, recovery disks or maybe a Windows disk and they put it in the computer, start it up, and nothing happens. And they're wondering, hmm, uh, what's wrong? Why doesn't it boot or ask me to boot from these devices? And it all has to do with the boot section of the BIOS. Now, what's interesting, this computer actually tells you that when you boot up, if you press F12, you'll be asked where you want to boot. So there's a way of actually triggering that information at boot up when you see the Toshiba logo. But a lot of computers don't have that option of pressing a key to see what device you want to boot from. So there's the interesting way where you'll want to change the order of the boot up. And um, I usually prefer uh, on most machines to have the CD DVD first then the hard drive second and any other devices after that. What it does is that it forces the computer to check if there's a CD DVD to boot from and then if it doesn't see anything it goes to the hard drive where it will boot Windows. Um, one of the reasons sometimes that people want to boot directly to the hard drive is the fact that having that CD DVD check will slow up you know slow down slightly the boot up time because it does take a few seconds before it can continue to the hard drive because it needs to check if there's a disk in your drive so a lot of people have like in this case the first one on the top is hard drive so it boots to the hard drive and if I press the um, F5 or F6 key I can change the option so by pressing enter and um, pressing F5 or F6 I can change the order of those things and so by changing the order you see that I can move up the CD DVD and then the hard drive goes second for example and if I press F5 and um, keep in mind that F5, F6 change values is for the Phoenix BIOS in this computer other computers have different ways of changing. Uh, some are with the arrow keys, some are with the enter, where there's a submenu. So basically, <clears throat> this is where everything happens. If you want to boot from a disk and there's no option at the startup of your computer, this is where you'll want to change the order of things and put, for example, your CD DVD drive at the top, being the first one, and then have the hard drive. And then you'll see the options available for booting up on disks. So uh, this is one of probably the, the most important option that people will want to try to play with sometimes in the BIOS because they want to boot off a external drive or boot off a, a CD or DVD. Now, if you notice here, there's only four options, but a lot of computers now have boot on USB devices, for example where you'll be able to put, plug in an external hard drive and boot off of that device. So more and more options available now directly from uh, the computer. 
and uh, LAN option is for booting off network yeah, if you have a network where you can boot off from a software on the network and also the FDD means fixed disk drive so you can uh, instead of having sometimes the hard drive that's there FDD means it's the uh, disk drive in your computer so this is the boot options in the BIOS in our series on explaining the BIOS um, if you enjoy these videos and any other Windows 7 features uh, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online keep in mind we'll have other biases from different companies uh, displayed on this uh, channel and uh, hey if you uh, have any comments or want to add to those comments or whatever I'm saying uh, please write them on below the video and if you have any comments or questions it's always welcome so thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel bye bye